hello guys my name is kemto bear kenyan content creator today i'm gonna be showing you how to fill and submit your youtube answers info tag for non-usa creators i'm from kenya by the way and this will apply for every kenyan and african and basically if you are not uh, living and residing in usa and how to lower your tax rate hope you enjoy and subscribe if you haven't you open your adsense account and you'll see this this thing here that is here you it check if additional tax information is required from you all youtube creators and partners are required to submit tax information to ensure any applicable taxes on your payments are accurate so if you've not done if you've already done it you dismiss but because we are doing it right now with you guys we are going to manage our tax info mm -hmm. have you put the name oh. here so you, we add tax info to get part of make sure that you provide your tax information this will take a few minutes you add tax info your adsense password eh? remember you're going to adsense account that's one so it's uh to find the right tax form please answer a few questions first the irs which type of account is it's an individual it's not an, an individual entity hmm. so it's individual you go to next I hope you are able to see clearly. Are you a citizen or resident of the United States? Of course, no. And then you go to next. So, based on your previously selected answers, a W-8 form is needed. So, I chose the first one. This is form is most commonly used by non-US individuals and will also be used to claim tax treaty benefits, which is next. Ah, sikunini. You make sure you select and then you start filling in the, the form. And then tax identity, make sure that the information is exactly the same as on your tax documents and that it's, the form is signed by an authorized representative of this legal entity. Of course, the name of the individual, write your full names, which is that. Uh, uh, DBA, it's optional. It's not, you are not supposed to, to, to fill in that one. It's optional. It's not common and then the country of citizenship of course it's kenya you choose your country be it you're in nigeria or what but for us we are in kenya you you put kenya and then you go on it just for zach to see yeah. her yeah. oh next a uh, uh, foreign teen for yeah. 14 teen, me i decided to put my id number my kenyan id number oh, oh, it's optional Hmm? Uspoeka to it to dish it one bit to work. My yeah, ID number me decided to put ID number so you go to next name of individuals. So yeah. you're supposed to tick permanent address PO box in care of you will be required to submit additional documentation, a PO box. So you select mm -hmm. and then country of course you are in Kenya. Address you're going to put your postal address. The one you put that Yes, one. yes, I remember. And then you go to next that one. Mm. And we'll put that one. You don't want to disclose our Nairobi. Canairo. <laughs> Postcode is zero, zero, 100. Like everything. Are you claiming a, a reduced treat rate of withholding under a tax treaty? You know, here, you know, I tried the first time I said yes, mm -hmm. and then when you go to yes, they'll ask you the country, mm -hmm. resident of country, country region. Mm -hmm. In our case, Kenya was not here. We don't mm -hmm. have a treaty with the U.S. Oh. So I went back and said no, because we don't have a treaty. Mm -hmm. you, start, you, saw, you say U.S. tax law may impose a 30% mm -hmm. withholding tax on payment that are con considered u.s source income this tax may be reduced or eliminated for any pay that qualifies as a relevant tax treaty the reason why i ticked no is because you don't have a treaty with u.s because you've seen we've gone to, we've we've selected yes and our country is not there and you cannot say that we're in nigeria and we're in kenya you mm. see mm -hmm. so i put no and then we went to next in this is how your document will be generated review the pdf and confirm your information do you want us to review to review Mm, no, there's no. Because it's the same here. Mm. So we come here and call and and say I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax document to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true, correct and complete. You select mm. and then you go to next. When you go to next, 
Here you're supposed your signature you just write your full logo name. It's a must to write your full name. And then are you the person listed in the signature selection? If it's you say yes, uh, you select yes, I'm the person listed in signature section and I'm completing this form on my own behalf. But if you're not doing on your own behalf, you say no, I'm sending on behalf of the person listed in the signature section as an agent, attorney, or attorney in fact. But because it is her, we we you select yes and then you go to next. And then after this, has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section performed any activities and services for Google within the U.S.? No. See, yeah, uh, no. Within the U.S.? No. Cindy, uh, no. And then you certify that the services provided to Google or its affiliates will be performed solely outside the U.S. and that any labor or capital, including facilities or other tools used to provide such services will be physically located outside the U.S. Yes. Are you providing tax info for a new or existing payment profile that hasn't received payment or an existing payment profile that has previously received payments? You are providing tax info for a new or... No, you are, this one you are not a new because you've received payment for uh. Google before. So you tick the second one, which is I am providing tax info for an existing payment provider that has previously received payments. Uh. And then we go Chini. And then under penalty of perjury, I declare that the information and certification contained herein remain the same and unchanged, except as provided below from... 1st January 2020 until the present and were true, correct and complete for that time to the extent that there were any changes. Please detail them here and include dates of relevant changes. So you are not changing anything yes. and then you tick. And then mm -hmm. when you tick, you see there is a submit form here, you submit. You see here the status is approved here. You can see? Because if Wait. it was not approved, Google could have said that it's not approved. They have already approved mm. for you to to lower the tax info. Mm. So mm. you'll get an email called Google Yako that Nini has approved. Mm. So that is the process and that's the end. By the way, this is the one helping here is none other than all things African Nana. So you guys, if you want us to help you guys, just DM us, but at a cost. Kemuto and I will do for you at a cost. Bye bye. I hope this information helps you guys. And please don't forget to subscribe to Kemuto's Bear channel and also my channel. Toodles.